We got our first day, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. She too full. <laughs> we have all seen the shocking images and videos of Shanquella by now, but none of us may have been able to piece together the obvious. Until now, Shanquella's body was tampered with by her friends after they brutally attacked and injured her. But how do we know this? Where is the proof? Well, stay with us as we walk you through the evidence that will send chills down your spine. It all begins with this one video where you can see poor Shanquella Robinson completely undressed being beaten by her so-called friend while the other friends encourage them to carry on. Fair warning, this video might be disturbing for some viewers. Please fight back! No. What? What? The video, which now has millions of views, shows one of the young ladies on the trip involved in a physical altercation with a person they claim to be Shanquella. The video shows a moment when the attacker flung the victim by her neck, landing on the ground, then continues to pummel her in the head and neck areas. Other friends, who were onlookers during the altercation, began recording their fight. Footage from the fight is almost unbearable to watch as Shanquella receives blow after blow. Without fighting back, one of the people in the room could be heard saying, Quella, can you at least fight back? In pain, she answered, no. But this isn't the shocking part. Notice how Shanquella is completely undressed in this video while the rest of her friends are fully dressed. Isn't that suspicious? Did they forcefully remove her clothes in an attempt to cause her bodily harm? It sure seems that way. From what we know about crime, it was in these very moments when Shanquella was fatally injured and murdered by her friends. But there is one huge inconsistency in the whole story, and it has been uncovered by an investigative journalist with a keen eye. As the weeks have passed, Robinson's family has questioned the at times conflicting details surrounding the 25-year-old's death. Prosecutors in Mexico have since filed charges against another U.S. woman and are seeking her extradition in connection with Robinson's death. According to the Associated Press, Robinson, who had a business braiding hair, was celebrating someone's birthday during the trip. The definitive timeline of the events leading to her death has been established through Robinson's autopsy report, as well as a police report that was originally obtained by investigative reporter Gerardo Zuniga at Metropoli MX, and it reveals something shocking. So let's break it down. On October 28, Robinson arrived at the Ocean View home where she was vacationing. She called her mom to tell her a chef was cooking them dinner that night and that she would talk to her the next day. A guest list showed there were seven people on the trip. At some point, someone captured video of what appears to be another woman assaulting Robinson. The group called for a doctor at 2.13 p.m. on October 29 and requested an ID for Robinson who they said drank too much. A doctor arrived about an hour later and noted that Robinson had a poor verbal response in a drunken state, had stable vital signs and was dehydrated. The doctor recommended that Robinson be transported to a hospital, but the group insisted she be treated on site instead. At 4.20 p.m. Robinson had a seizure and her friend called 911 to request an ambulance. Robinson was declared dead just before 6 p.m., citing a police report. Although the doctor was with Robinson for nearly three hours, the woman's death certificate states she died about 15 minutes after her injury. Her time of death is also listed as 3 p.m. on her death certificate and 6 p.m. in the police report, which is highly unusual. But there is something even more peculiar. If you take a closer look at the clips and images of Shanquella receiving medical treatment released by Zuniga, you will notice an irregularity. Do you remember how Shanquella was completely naked in the earlier video when she was being beaten up by her friend? Over here, she seems fully clothed. And for those people doubting if these pictures were indeed of Shanquella's and not somebody else's, Zuniga dissected the entire clips and compared them with the images of the villa he found online and the rooms completely match, proving that it was indeed Shanquella who was captured being given medical treatment by the doctor. So what happened in the three hours between Shanquella receiving treatment till the time of her death? This is where the shady doctor comes into play. Just take a deeper look at the doctor that is supposedly trying to revive Shanquella as she lies unconscious. Does she not seem disturbed to you? Like she was trying to do something illegal or wrong? Well, to some people, it did, like this YouTuber who said, Look at the nurse's face looking down on Shankola's body. Look at the, is it guilt? Is it fear? Is it, ooh, am I gonna get away with this? She does not look like she has, of course, Shankola's best interest in heart. She does not look like she had been trying to revive somebody for two and a half hours before the EMT arrived. It does look like the friends schemed with the doctor during these hours to tamper with evidence and cover up their tracks before the Antwerp police arrived at the scene. The first step of doing so was to dress Shanquella again to make it seem like everything was normal and she was just suffering from alcohol poisoning, as they had told everyone who asked them. But the autopsy blew their story wide open. The death certificate for Shanquella Robinson released by the authorities lists 
The cause of death is severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, which is instability in the uppermost vertebrae. The section of the death certificate where police could have noted any sign of intoxication only said person found unconscious in her living room. The death certificate has a section that reads, was it accidental or violent? Yes, was typed into that section, but it's unclear which of those questions authorities were answering. But this clearly proves one thing, Shankwella was brutally murdered by her friends through blunt force trauma to the back of her neck, who then tried to haphazardly cover it up by rearranging her body and dressing her before anyone would realize or notice and they have now been caught in the act. What's even more incriminating for Shankwella's friends is how poorly they tried to cover up their story and were caught red-handed by Shankwella's own family. Salamander Robinson, mother of Shankwella, received a phone call that her 25-year-old daughter, Shankwella Robinson, was found dead in Cabo, Mexico while vacationing with a group of friends. Originally, Mrs. Robinson was told that Shankwella died of alcohol poisoning. It wasn't until she received phone calls from various people and saw her daughter's autopsy report that she knew that was a lie and something terrible happened to her daughter. According to her sister, Tequila Long, Shankwella had a broken neck, cracked spine, and bruises all over her body at the time of her death. Even with clear evidence of foul play, the United States State Department released a statement claiming no clear evidence of foul play. Shankwella Robinson's sister, Tequila Long, said friends lied to her family about the details surrounding the 25-year-old's death from the very beginning. Her friends said her death was caused by alcohol poisoning. Long confirmed in an interview that the friends even spoke to her and her mother, Salamandra Robinson. I was believing the dude that she went on the trip with because that was her best friend. I didn't think that he would be malicious about anything. I didn't think that he would tell us a lie. I trusted him, said Long. Shankwella's family heard she and the group were involved in a fight while in Mexico, but her friends repeatedly denied the claim. Long shared that, the two young ladies and the male told us that there wasn't any type of fighting going on. We asked him about the fight because we were hearing from other people that they were out there fighting her. They had jumped on her out there. So they all was giving us a story, a lie, until the video surfaced. In November, the world saw footage of a naked Shankwella being repeatedly punched by one of the women she considered a friend. Long said she can't unsee the video of her sister's attack. They had to wake her up out of her sleep because she sleeps naked. She was naked standing there, and here she is fighting this girl. That image of her didn't sit well with me, said Long. Shankwella's family isn't the only one who believes she was murdered by her friends. People all over the social media seem to believe it too. Like this user who tweeted, in a video I watched and later deleted, she was beaten up naked and she wasn't fighting back. Her closest friend who was a man in that group kept on telling her to fight back, but Shankwella didn't do nothing at all. Looked like her murder had been planned by the entire group. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching until the end and don't forget to subscribe and like. Goodbye.